okay, maybe I need some water. <laughs> so wait, wait, when you clap, I start. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Wong Wailong, member of Singapore Cancer Society. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Wong Wailong, member of Singapore Cancer Society Women's Gynecological Cancer Awareness Campaign and Head and Senior Consultant, Gynecological Oncology, KK Women's and Children's Hospital. I'm here to answer some commonly asked questions regarding cervical cancer. Let's see what are the questions. What are the screenings for cervical cancer? Well, there are currently two types of screening for cervical cancer, the PAP test and the HPV test. They are used to find changes in the cells of the cervix that could lead to cancer. Both of the tests are administered in the same way. Do I need to do a pap smear or HPV test every year? Females aged 25 to 29 should do their pap test once every three years. Females aged 30 and above should do their HPV test once every five years. Even if you have received the HPV vaccination, you will still be required to get your cervical cancer screening. Is HPV test the gold standard for cervical cancer screening for women above 30? The answer is yes. HPV tests can pick up if one has a HPV virus which causes cervical cancer. Most HPV infections go away on its own. However, persistence of HPV infection may result in precancerous lesions on the cervix. According to the National Cervical Cancer Screening Program, women aged 30 and above are recommended to have a HPV test, while PAP test is still recommended for those between 25 to 29 years old. If I'm still a virgin, do I need to go for cervical cancer screening? The short answer is no. HPV infection is transmitted through sexual intercourse. Hence, if you are a virgin, there is no need to go for cervical cancer screening. I hope this has been informative. Thank you for watching and stay safe. <laughs> <laughs>